All right, so this is super illegal, but we're gonna do it anyways. <laughs> guys what's happening what's going on welcome back to the channel go back to the vlog welcome back to yosemite national park <laughs> we actually ended up sleeping here at tunnel vision we woke up right at the crack of dawn haven't brushed my teeth none of that stuff yeah good morning what a view to wake up to and as usual there's already people out here <laughs> it didn't stop all night there's people coming in and out So the point of today is to grab as many pictures as early as possible and then get out of here. We're gonna start heading south down to LA. We already did Tunnel View, we did Half Dome, Glacier Point, and now we're gonna do Taft Point real quick, and then uh, we're gonna go do Yosemite Falls, and then that should do it. So, let's do this quickly, and then uh, we'll head out of here, go grab some breakfast. We haven't eaten in like a day. Oh! Check it out, we made our way back to one of the original viewpoints that we first came to last year when we came with Wilfredo and Sheena. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. And that, my friends, is another Instagram picture. And bam! Take a deep breath. <laughs> oh man. Not Can, that city polluted yeah. air. Let's bottle some of this up and uh, I'm gonna take it back to New Jersey. This is called Swiggin' Bridge and this is must be the bridge right here. <laughs> uh, check it out, you have the waterfall in the background. Like I said, the lighting is terrible. That's why everything looks all blown out. No clouds in the sky. It looks really like, really, 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 really like overexposed. It looks kind of like faded. Regardless, it's still beautiful. What do you have to say to the viewers? Good morning. Morning. <laughs> a hot one out here all right guys we have left yosemite national park it was fun while it lasted unfortunately the weather i know i keep saying that wasn't cooperating with us it was just way too sunny like it is right now another thing that made us get out of yosemite so quickly is that there was a lot of tourists so if you're gonna go to yosemite i don't recommend going at this time of year middle of summer june it's not a good time to go. It was way too busy. It really wasn't enjoyable. There's so many people in there. It, it's like a city. It's it's really bad. Like the traffic is worse than probably New York City. We were literally at a couple of roads waiting in traffic for two hours. So June, probably not the best time to come. June, July is probably super busy. Last time when we came, it was March and it was not this busy. It was busy, but it was nowhere near as busy. So I recommend going like spring, fall maybe. And uh, uh, yeah, it was rough. It was rough. It was way too many people for us to enjoy it. It was Hectic the whole point was to try to get nice pictures, but we've left we're supposed to head down Big Sur to go to LA but unfortunately uh, Big Sur is closed. I think they had like rock slides or flooded or something like that So we're debating on what to do uh, today. We're thinking about just going down straight uh, through Fresno and, and just headed down south and uh, 
going to Sequoia National Park with the big, big, big Sequoia trees. We're thinking about going there since we're ahead of schedule now, since we're gonna be skipping that, and we got through Yosemite fairly quick. Regardless, we made it down the mountain and we stopped off at a Subway. Subway is like our go-to road trip place that we always stop off every time we are on a road trip. We always stop at a Subway. It feels good to get some food. We didn't eat last night. I don't know if you guys knew that, but we didn't eat. We grabbed some hotel breakfast, but we just grabbed like uh, some cereal, some coffee, and then we hit the road, came to Yosemite, and all we've been living off is a couple of snacks like chips and stuff. So this is gonna be our first meal probably in about 28 hours since we ate at Oye Managua and that Nicaragua restaurant in San Francisco. So this is gonna be our first proper meal. And boy, does it feel good, doesn't it, woman? <laughs> Linda doesn't like to be on camera when she has no makeup. Look at the ugly. <laughs> to this town right outside the Sequoia National Park. And uh, we're gonna hang out for a little bit. We were freaking tired. We got up at six, no, not six. It was like four in the morning. We're really exhausted, so we're gonna try to check in early. I don't know if they're gonna let us. It's only one right now. By the way, what town is this? This is Excess, Exter, Exter, Exter? Does that ring a bell to you California people? Exter. Exter or Dexter, one of those towns. Looks like it's like wine country out here. There's like a bunch of wineries out here. And yeah, unfortunately we did have to skip over Big Sur. It just, uh, it wasn't gonna happen. If it was closed, it didn't make sense to go all the way back into uh, basically San Francisco and then uh, go down for a little bit, find out that it's closed, then go back up north and come back down this way. It would've just taken up too much time. It would've been a waste. My original plan was to go all the way down the one, not the 101, to go down the one Big Sur all the way down, but it's close, so what are you gonna do? We're gonna stay at this Best Western. I might also go jump in the pool, and then later tonight we'll find a place to go catch the sunset and uh, cool off a little bit. It is scorching out here, people. It's about 100 and something degrees, so it's a hot one, boys. Oh. Hi, how are you? Doing good. Rogama? We just came from Yosemite, so it was bad. It's probably not as bad, but it's probably around there. It's busy? Yeah, we sell out every summer. You're in room 206 on this side upstairs. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Enjoy the heat. It's gonna be hot. There's a pool right to my crib. So, did you guys like that drone footage? Some of you guys might be wondering why there hasn't been more drone footage of Yosemite and basically of this trip. And let me tell you a story as to why there hasn't been as much drone footage lately in my vlogs. And the reason was because I got in trouble for flying my drone in Yosemite last year. Now, I didn't get caught while I was in the park. I got caught afterwards so this year when i went in i was actually pretty nervous that they were going to recognize me linda was messing with my head telling me that i was going to get in trouble and that i was like self-incriminating myself and basically returning to the scene of the crime flying drones in national parks is a little bit uh frowned upon we're gonna go sneak the car around to this parking lot over there where there's a lot less people and i'm gonna try to fly the drone over this so this is super illegal, but we're gonna do it anyways. Last year when I went to Yosemite with Linda, Wilfredo, and Sheena, you guys saw those travel vlogs, I did bring my drone and I took it up inside of the park. I posted a travel vlog about that, and uh, the travel vlog was doing beautifully. It was one of my most watched videos. <laughs> We did it, we didn't get in trouble. 
Kind of. Not yet. Nine months later, I got a call from Yosemite National Park saying that they were going to serve me. They were going to sue me because I've been flying drones illegally. And in the actual vlog, I actually self-incriminated myself saying that this is completely illegal, but we're going to do it anyways. So this is super illegal, but we're going to do it anyways. So a park ranger at Yosemite National Park contacted me saying that, hey, we're going to serve you with papers. I gave him my info. I was kind of a little bit freaked out too because I'm not sure that people can just call you and ask you for your information. I'm not sure if somebody was just playing a sick joke on me trying to freak me out for flying drones inside of the national park but that scared me silly this happened like about four months ago so this was a while back it happened last year it was in november so it was well after we left and ever since then i've been more cautious as to where i fly the drone and what i say on the vlog i did some research online and uh it's happened to a lot of people a lot of people have been getting nailed for posting the video on youtube and then uh they get tracked down by yosemite national park or all the national parks i saw a video of some guy that got caught i think it was in yellowstone national park flying his drone six months later he really did get served with papers i'm not sure what happened with my case i think they probably just dropped it and now it's been more than a year i took the video down for a long long time i don't know if any of you guys ever noticed but that video was down i took it down for about six months i got the courage to post it back up again and now it's up but i remove all the tags so that's why i haven't been flying the drone as much i've been doing my best to try to get drone footage but man it is tough you can't fly the drone anywhere cool you can't fly it in cities you can't fly it in national parks you're pretty much limited to just car shots where you have like an empty highway so that's pretty much what i've been sticking to lately this town that i made it's pretty deserted so there's nobody around here so i took it up wasn't no big issue but Man, it has been hectic trying to fly that thing. If you guys are getting a drone or planning on getting a drone, keep that in mind before you purchase that you might get in trouble for flying a drone like I did. You don't want to get freaked out like me. So uh, there's my little two cents on that. But regardless, it has been a hectic trip so far. We have been really busy. I know it doesn't seem like it in the vlogs, but we have been hiking, taking pictures, getting up early and uh doing a lot and i mean a lot of driving we have traveled who knows how many miles we've gone from san francisco to yosemite and yosemite down to dexter exter i'm guessing it's exter thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you guys are enjoying it please be patient with these vlogs i know i'm gonna fall behind please hit that like button before you leave subscribe if you're new around here and don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can stay up to date with all of my travel vlogs, my DJ videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, gig vlogs, and all that good stuff. You guys are awesome, and I can't thank you enough. Goodbye, my friends. I'll catch you tomorrow night. Peace.